<laughs> On his way to ask New Brunswick's Lieutenant Governor to kick off the election campaign, Blaine Higgs might be smiling, but the progressive conservative leader is in for a tough fight. Our goal is to make it cheaper for people to live here. With the campaign underway, Higgs is asking New Brunswickers for a third term, something no premier here has been able to do in nearly 30 years. At the same time, a new survey shows him with the lowest approval rating of any premier in Canada. He's also faced a revolt within his own party. The Shepherd, the CLA. Nearly half of the Tory candidates elected in 2020 have walked out on Higgs, many unable to support his stance on the controversial Policy 713. Protests have erupted over the policy, originally intended to protect transgender kids, but changed to require their parents' permission in order for teachers to use their preferred names and pronouns. We want families and parents to have the key role in, in raising their young children. I'm definitely going to be watching for um, the party's different takes on Policy 713. This young trans person, eligible to vote for the first time, says he's worried about Higgs winning another election. I would honestly, I think I would consider moving just because I would not like the way that those policies would impact me. He's undecided between the Liberals and the Greens. The Greens had three seats at dissolution. The NDP has not been able to elect an MLA in New Brunswick in more than two decades. I think there is a lot of this campaign that will be focused on a referendum on Blaine Higgs. I think the Liberals have an opportunity probably to present a new vision. Still, Gilly says he thinks the core debate will be about those fundamental pocketbook issues. New Brunswickers go to the polls on October 21st. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Fredericton.